try to reconnect that soundboard. There we go. Everything's live. Whoa, LG, you're so fast! Holy! Gold star again, LG. Let me just get my usual um, chat moved over. How are you doing, LG? You feeling better today? Oops, wrong thing up. That. No. One, one more click, I got it. There we go. Um, am I on the old... Hopefully I'm on the old beam Keep your so that it auto, avoid cross -contamination. you know, so it auto scrolls for me. Let me tweet this out real quick. Um, make sure it went. Sometimes the video tweets, they fail. Hopefully it goes. Looks like, yes, Moto. Thank you for the awesome tweet. I love thinking myself. Um, I want to try... I put in a new command. Like A lot of people are like, hey, what are you playing? Well, today, let's see. I'm currently playing The Assembly. It's $19.99 on Xbox One. You can buy it digital right at that link. See? So I'm going to start doing that. If people ask what I'm playing, boom. Thank you for streaming today. Thank you for visiting. You have no idea how much it means. Um, so I did start this game, it's called The Assembly, a little bit. I played it just, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, something like that. I got really hooked and I had to force myself to stop. But I wanted to wait until today when the game was out and, uh, and play it some more. Um... Oh, and let me give you the basic premise of the Take game, because at the beginning Welcome I was like a little like... We'll conduct a demonstration of what? <laughs> what? What's going on? Uh, so, there was something you posted oh. for that reminded me of Cuba. Okay, so that one I never played, but I wanted to. And thank you, Souza, for the tweet. That was on my I want, but I never got to playlist. Um, a little bit of it reminds me so far of the Turing test, if you played Remember that one. To consider your colleagues when you but so this research. game, it has two stories from two different perspectives. So you have two different people, you know, telling the same story from their point of view. So that's all I know. Hello, Moto. Hello, hello. Ren, thank you so much for the host. It's a good game. Maddening puzzles. Ugh. I like that kind of thing, though. I really like puzzle games. It's just sometimes it gets hard when I'm streaming because I'm distracted. I'm not. I don't have my full attention, and so it equals a lot of me going, "What do I do, guys? Help me! What do I do?" So this does have some puzzles um, from what I've seen so far, some tests. But um, what I'm gonna do is start the game over. I think, I, like I said, I think I like. I did like maybe 15 or 20 minutes, so... Rin, how are you doing? Mm. I got my tea today, so... And let me... Do I, did I take my medicine? I've got a stupid headache, so I'll make sure I took my medicine. Alright, so we'll do new game. I wonder if I could just delete this one. Is that enough? I don't know. We'll just click new game. I'll figure that out later. It's been raining like crazy, huh? It's actually, it's overcast. It's Seattle. It's overcast. I'm doing pretty good, Ren. I thought I'd stream earlier today. Depending on my, how I do, I might have up to three or four games today. We'll see. I might get addicted to this one though. Hmm. So what's everybody else up to? Anything? I think this beginning part had a lot of story, so I, I probably won't talk too much through the story. Harris. Yes, Dr. Ming, we're... Yes, I know we're running late, but only 15. Of course. Yes, I understand. We just passed perimeter A. ETA Nightmare to Vantrans, train. Thanks for the tweet. Minutes. No, she's fine. Sleeping it off. Okay, so... Mom? Mom? Oh god. It's 
too soon. You shouldn't be blacking out yet. Grandma was ten years older than you before she started. Okay, so... Move it up, Harris. You know how Chavez gets about being on time. Like this burnout stands a chance anyway. Me and the guys have her at 30 to 1 tops. Jesus Christ, keep your voice down. What? We're outside. There's no microphones here. Oh, Harris, for a security officer, you're pretty naive. <laughs> okay, so we've got like cat scans here. It must be hereditary, Mum. There's nothing you could have done. You didn't know. But we do now. So it's up to you, Maddie. I'll be your guinea pig. I can't do that. My treatments are still experimental. Besides, what would Dad say? He doesn't need to know. He still thinks I'll pull through, the poor fool. But I'm a doctor too. I understand the risks. And how else will we ever beat this bloody disease? Hey, Adam. Got the new candidate. Voice print confirmed. Hello, Dr. Ming. Please state today's passphrase. Passphrase? I, I don't... Adam, this is Security Officer Harris. Passphrase is, the price of truth is discretion. Voice print and passphrase confirmed. Welcome, Officer Harris. Honestly, if making that machine smart again means the occasional explosion, I could live with that. That's because you don't have to clean up after him. Hmm. That's bad. Five weeks in, and this is my third span this year. That's not so bad. Another week, then it's mojitos on a beach. Yes. I'm so sorry if my kidnapping has ruined your holiday plans. Shit, she's awake. Relax. The sedative's just wearing off. How you doing, Dr. Stone? Dr. Stone? What is going on? Stone. Approach the staff. So Madeline Stone's the daughter, if you remember that from the beginning. This is very serious misconduct, Dr. Stone. However, you have already been struck off for trying to cover up the experiments that hastened your own mother's death. And given the circumstances, I see no benefit to a custodial sentence. The damage to your reputation, not to mention a significant fine, will be punishment enough. But how did you find out? Who ordered that second autopsy? How do you plead? Guilty. Guilty. Clear the way, daughter death coming through. Hey, this is not late night, and that is not cool. This woman got a seriously raw deal. Well, I'm glad to hear someone say that. Now, if you could just tell the rest of the world, that would be wonderful. Sorry, Dr. Stone, but as you've probably noticed, we're kind of secretive around here. You shouldn't talk to her so much. Oh, will you relax? Come with me. I'll become a teacher. We'll make a new life. A new life with daughter death? I can't live like this anymore. All right, so now we have control. There's a lot of story, huh? <laughs> Push. Okay. They're just telling us how to play. Who the bloody hell can that be? Designed for dummies. All right, let's go. I like to look at this stuff. <gasps> Divorce. Mm. Oh shit, it's Chavez. Why is she awake? Dr. Chavez. She, uh, she keeps slipping in and out is all. 
So administer a new sedative and bring Miss Stone to the waiting room. I want to get started ASAP. Hang on. Struck off or not, I'm still Dr. Stone. Ow! Actually, right now, you're nobody. But if you do well today, you could become somebody. Be seeing you. Mmm. And so it begins. <laughs> Don't you guys think the uh, graphics are really good for this? I, they were a lot better than I expected. And so our story begins. <laughs> I, I figured you'd get what I was getting at. I always liked that in uh, Fable. And so our story begins. About time. All right, Memo. Let's see what you got. You want me to wear these to the party, Jen? <clears throat> you should make them charge faster. <laughs> these look good. Let's put them on. Oh, really? There's the shirt on Rap Bubble. Party time. Or not. Answer the phone. Dr. Pearson speaking. Cal, it's Anton. C can you do me a favor? I was on my way to join you for the trial party. I, I think you'll want to see this first. I was given a top secret cell sample to check this morning. Top secret, but you're telling me about it? Yeah, because I think you should see it. It's in the lab fridge, marked PCS 177A. Okay, but if I miss the first trial for this, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, and keep the memo prototype on. It'll help. Bye. How'd you... <laughs> Strange, kid. All right, we're gonna check our emails. Trial party for the virology. <clears throat> that voice, it sounds so monotone. The guy on the phone or the guy, the guy that we are? Hope you've got your party hats on. Dr. Stone enters the bunker today. My viewing party for her trials is happening in residential block J3 starting at 4. I'm heading that pretty soon. Can't believe. Um, and initiation, come on, part of blah, blah. Keep in touch. Okay. You know what? I think I actually missed. Oh, yeah. You could scroll it if I go over. Oops. The hooch. I hate that word. Hooch. You are. Wait, I am. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. I'm assuming we're Caleb. Let's see. So here's Anton or er, Antonio's. Jesus, Anton, how do you folder, find anything? Or uh, locker. Here's Caleb. Let's see what I got. Music. Kansas City sidewalks. Hmm. That's where I'm from. I like number two. <laughs> Out of context. <sighs> Avian Virology Volume 2. <clears throat> Why do I even keep this thing around? Is the volume okay for you guys? Can you hear it okay? Kid operates million dollar instruments every day, but can't figure out how to tidy his desk. Awesome, thanks. Anton's terminal. None of my business. Sandwich? Well, that's how you get ants. Second screen's not supposed to be a pin board, Anton. One of Anton's love letters. <laughs> you may fool everyone else, kid, but I know you're an old romantic. Seven, seven, eight. There you Archer are. reference. Look, there's this ascent. Jesus, Seaver's left his lunch in here again. 
Well, hey, it's not like we work with highly contagious diseases. PC, project code name, I guess. Let's get you under a scope. Okay. What's the beeping? Is it because I left the door open? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Let's see what's science discovery stuff, office things. see a strain he said okay I think that's it I don't think I can do I thought I destroyed all those you did not destroy them all okay <clears throat> and someone didn't want me to know yeah I'll bet what the hell has Anton gotten himself into? I better check his desk. Better check his desk. Gotta be something here about that sample. Okay, so... I, I played this part so I already know what the password is. It took me a bit... Um, so it's on the board here. Um, so I tried it first putting all these numbers in. Didn't work. I tried putting these numbers in. And then I was like, oh. So then I did 6255. And I think that was the one that worked. Color coding, you know? Let's see. Why isn't it? There we go. 6, 2, oopsie. I messed up. Six, two, five, five. Sorry, buddy. I gotta know. Nothing on Anton's desk. Maybe his filing cabinet. Uh, live long and prosper. Ooh, I'm having troubles here. There we go. The keys! Bingo. Now, what's so important you'd lock it in your desk? <sighs> okay, let's put the keys away. Let's move on. This is one of my old Cassius files. Damn it, that project should have stayed dead and buried where I put it. Mm. Cassius, whatever that is. Jesus, this better not be a security check. Now you know why you have to see this for yourself. Damn it, Anton, level with me. Who ordered you to retest that sample? The woman who replaced you as head of virology, of course. Who else? Nice. Dr. Chavez? Has she forgotten Cassius almost wiped out an entire Indonesian island? I'm taking this <clears> to the <throat> director. Wait, Cal. Everyone knows Chavez threw you under a bus after Cassius. But you'll need more than an old sample to prove anything. Of course... She's busy running Dr. Stone's trials all day. Sure, but without her door code, there's no way I can get into her office. Relax, my friend. I was in there just yesterday. It's 2178. Go on. I'll make sure you're not disturbed. 2178. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. 178. But I can't let you do it. Two. Don't forget it, guys. 2178. 2178. <clears throat> I'm assuming, yeah, yeah. Let's get decontaminated. At least virology should be empty all afternoon. I just hope daughter death keeps everyone entertained. <clears throat> so. 
So what do you guys think so far? Interesting or not? Yeah, I was thinking so too. I like the sciencey stuff, so. <clears throat> It's like, what are they up to? It, he said that uh, Cass, Cassius or Cat, whatever he was calling it, um, Good afternoon, wiped Madeline. out almost an entire My name is island. Dr. Chavez. Yes, you're the one who called me last week. I told you people that I'm done with science, just like science is done with me. We saw you plan to become a teacher, a noble profession, of course. But you can do so much more here at the assembly. On the other hand, I doubt a city college would kidnap me for the job interview. All candidates go through the trial process. I did myself many years ago. Now when you're ready, make your way through the door. Okay, so now we're the, the woman. They kidnapped her for like some sort of interview type thing. I guess this is the quarters they're giving her. <clears throat> Oh yeah, for yeah, for you ran probably uh, like a whole different level. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. All right then. No time like the present. Excellent. Now proceed and let me be the first to officially welcome you to our facility. Yes. There's nothing more welcoming than being kidnapped. A standard precaution. The work we do here is very sensitive and top secret. So what if I decide I don't want your job? Are you going to brainwash me? Oh god. You are, aren't you? This is all very encouraging, Madeline. You're a quick thinker. Quick thinker who you're making jump through hoops. The assembly's methods are often unorthodox. <laughs> oh guys! I try not to focus too much on like my follower count, but look, I'm at 299. I just need one more. <clears throat> Am I streaming later? Or, oh, Ren's streaming later. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I must say I was expecting something more medical. Your medical credentials aren't in doubt, but we need to understand who Madeline Stone is. Oh, and Tales of Symphonia. And those goals would be? When you're ready, pull the reset lever on the right to begin the trial. That was a game I never played, Ren. Okay, so this puzzle I did do. It's mm. the only one I've done. I need to pull the reset switch first. The reset switch. There we go. <clears throat> um, okay. Very pretty. Use the joystick in front of you to navigate the yellow cube to its marked goal. Oh, is that all? Patience. We need to refocus your senses. You were sedated for over 18 hours. Yay, please, because my email notifications are crap and you can pretty please post a heads up on Discord. <laughs> Yeah, Rin, you can always post your stream under uh, on our to press me with your on the Sidecar Crew Discord the under the community the share. Energy repulsion technology developed in this very building. I'll take that as a yes, shall I? Let's see. I think. Twitter. I don't know if I remember Discord. <laughs> make it to do, make it launch checklist, uh, Ren. <clears throat> Yay! I'm sure these 
get way harder. You know, all of this can't be cheap. If you're not governed, who funds you? Some of our projects, like the repulsion technology, have been lucrative. But we work for progress, not profit. Now please continue. Wait, oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. are a little slower. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do this, Moda. You can do it. I think that was the puzzle I tweeted out, and I did a lot better job. Thank God for that. So how did I do? All in good time. Your path is clear. Cross over to complete the trial. Okay. So it's really creepy. Just relax. Look. Perfectly stable. They're just watching you. <clears throat> I like the look of this facility. Oh, this is certainly the strangest job interview of my life. And I'm not even sure I want the job. Okay, man, my nose, it's like as soon as I start streaming, my nose just runs and runs and runs. <clears throat> Caleb, so we're going to be Caleb now? Oh, and from here on, I haven't played. That was the last, that's where I left off. So everything else is new. Okay, Chavez, <clears throat> let's see what you're up to before anyone gets bored with the trials and comes back to work. Investigate Dr. Chavez's personal office. Oh, what was that code? Was it 2178? That was a long time ago. I need to search Chavez's office. Offices are the blue. I think she was like 2F or something. 2178. Yay! <laughs> it's early for me. It's 9 a.m. Almost 10. I, I got up at 6, but it's early streaming for me. Wait. This isn't Chavez's office? No, but I just wanted to look. So I think her office was like 2F. Now, what was that code in? Oh, here it is. All right, Chavez, let's see what you're hiding. 2178, correct? Yes. And I'm, I'm in. in. These doors. I'm trying to think what they remind me of. Ooh, I like that. I can make something like that for my. I used to have a lamp. Well, I, I do have, if you just cut off right, right here, I've got a lamp, two lamps like that. <laughs> they still make photocopiers? Perhaps you were hypersensitive to the air coming out of the fans from your equipment. I don't know. Every now and then I have to make sure to use the air candid dust. Well, I do know, like, every time I rearrange my office or, like, do a clean, I always vacuum the, uh, like, the vents on the Xbox or the, the vents on the back of the, uh, computer. But 
The only thing I can think of is that I start the room off colder than the rest of the house because when I stream, it usually jumps five to 10 degrees. So it's 68 in here now, it was 65. So it's, it's warming up. I, I think that could be possibly. But Supa bought a lamp for me to have in here. It, it, one of those, uh, what do they call like the salt lamps, the Himalayan uh, salt lamps, because it's supposed to um, counter the effects of like electronics and clean the air and do like all this stuff. So she got one for my office and it should be here next week. Okay, so what are we looking for? I said hold X for investigate Dr. Chavez's personal office. <laughs> oh, did you guys see that? That's good. Yes, it's either a boy or a girl. <laughs> What's that? That's what I was gonna say. What's that? Spare virology master key. I remember when I had one of these. Hmm. So ye This will get me around the labs, but not before I found everything I can here. So apparently whatever he did that almost wiped out a village, he got some of his access wiped. Let's see, she's got a message. Elizabeth. I've heard some conflicting reports about your project data. I do hope my faith in you has not been misplaced. Let's have a meeting after Dr. Stone's trials to clear things up. If that's the same project, then the director already knows. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, what do we got on the computer? Wait, Cassius F. <clears throat> we were only on Cassius D when I shut it down. First results from Cassius F are not significantly different to the D strain. Infection rates with five kilometers of site one are 82% avian, 63 human, with corresponding cure rates of 87 to 72. So, so there's Cassius F, Cassius D, there's a lot of strains going on. Infection, 82. Okay. And then, avian batch number two. Calico Island site deployment. What in hell are they doing? Oh. If human, what? Ah, oh, I can't read it. Oh, I gotta go over. I recommend we suspend site two deployment until we can lower its mortality rate. Okay, then this one says. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Oh, that would do it. Yeah, it's supposed to help um, cancel the negative effects of your electronics. It's supposed to help with migraines and all kinds of stuff, allergies. Okay, so I think it says something about a locker. We'll go out, because I don't see anything. Nothing here. I don't like that song. Okay. <laughs> I get all mad. I don't like that song. Okay, and we already checked the drawers. We got the thing out of it. Wait, I didn't check these drawers. Nothing there. There's got to be more here in Chavez's oh. office. Clearly it did not look... They still make photocopiers? Let's look back in here again. Or maybe she had drawers in her desk I didn't look at. <sighs> Nothing there. Okay, got the 
phone. Nothing there. Clearly I've missed something. I keep wanting to turn the lamp off. Okay. What else is in here? Mixed with my files and combined studies, your office was locked, so I placed it in a spare locker. So it's not in here. It's not in the office, the person said, because it was locked. Yeah, I know, but like when I try to leave, he's like, something still. There's got to be more here in Chavez's office. Yeah, like I'm still missing something. <clears throat> oh, I don't like that song. Okay, so let's look here. We got a lamp. We got empty. Go across these. Nothing. 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 Do these open? Nothing there. I already hit that. They still make photocopiers? Okay, nothing in the chair. Nothing with that. I checked in here, but we'll look again. <clears throat> okay. Maybe I'll listen to the phone again. Elizabeth. I've heard some conflicting reports about your project data. I do hope my faith in you has not been misplaced. Okay. Let's have a meeting after Dr. Stone's trials to clear things up. Okay. Let's double check our emails. I think we read everything, but let's just look. So we looked at that. Okay, then we looked at this. Found your notes, which aren't in here because the door was locked. Like, what else is in here? Any more emails after the last one at the bottom? Yeah, I don't think so, but I'll check again. <gasps> yep, there's one hmm. more. But it didn't stop you approving it, did it, Director? All right, time to get as much as I can on Project Penfeather. Find hard evidence, get it to the CDC without anyone here finding out. How hard can Oops. it be? There has to be more data in the labs. Yeah. Chavez's key card will get me in. And the memo headset can log everything. Search by our by by rollout. It goes too fast, guys. I can't read it all. Track down a sample of Cassius F. Oh my gosh, I have all these new things to do. Okay, so we have, wait, can I see? Find location of the site, track down sample, and locate data. I'm just gonna go in every door if it'll let me. Oh! Combined studies. If Chavez has been farming analysis out to other juniors besides Anton, there could be something in here. This is definitely my old Cassius D work. Okay. You still haven't said anything to him? Sasha, come on. Hey, I left a message. Did it declare your undying love? Because it should. No, it was just... Viruses, pathogens, toxins. Yep, just... <laughs> Ooh, it's 
in the folder. Jesus, they're already trialing Cassius F on live birds. That seems like a bad idea. The graphics on this are really good, I think. Poor birds, I know. Another sandwich. They all look the same. Oh, here we go. Message. Hey, this is Ming. Anyone there? Hello? Damn it. If anyone hears this, I'm trying to find out where Larson's leaving card wound up. Call me. Typical disorganized Ming. She should compare notes with Anton. Let's see. What can we find? What have they been doing to Cassius? Chavez, you son of a bitch. Oh, I wish we could read it. Oh, wait, we can. It's there it goes. Uh, let's see. Kinda can read it. Less susceptible to parasites. Can you guys read that? I, I can kind of read it. It's a little tough. Yeah. Increase the, yeah, the life, the, decrease the decay, faster growth. Wish I could, some of it can't read very good. It's interesting. It's a super virus. That's totally stupid. It sounded like it was already pretty darn powerful. Well, snoop, guys, but I've got to know. The super First bacteria. I know. I couldn't like hell. Oh my gosh, Ren. So you, I'm sure you know about this. Um, you know, MRSA? Um, back when my mom was in the hospital a lot, she had gotten it. And I am a germ germaphobe and yeah the the nose spray is what they used on her I don't remember I wasn't there for all of it but you know I was like mom you need to you know at home you need to practice better hygiene you know wash your hands you know really let me tell you, I was so paranoid when I stayed at her house. I like disinfect, I put gloves on and everything. I disinfected the entire house. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know what? I think that was, I think that was what they used. Um, but I wasn't there when she had the big, um, thing when she was in the hospital like you had to gown up just to go in to see her I wasn't there for that part but uh but yeah it was <laughs> I was not I was I don't know I just don't she's and she had it more Damn than right, once I'm not taking it well she thinks she knows my own work better than me okay so we're let's see here Okay, so that is that's it for that email. Okay. Yeah, I know like a lot of people carry it and it doesn't do anything to them, but she had a very low, um, immune system and um like her health was really really bad so they wanted her to to get you know and she was getting it's it's kind of disgusting i don't know if you're talking about it on stream but you know like if you have it and then um let's say you scratch a wound it can get into that wound and then cause a big infection and she had that happen as well so it is pretty much gross, and for a germaphobe like me, 
Let me tell you, their house got cleaned. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, I'm waiting to go in this room. It seems kind of fun in there. Nothing in there. Okay. Attacking the virus. What do we got? General storage. Ooh, a tape. A voice There's recorder. that tape. Pinfeather update. We couldn't salvage as much of Dr. Pearson's original work as I anticipated. Nevertheless, it was enough to synthesize an interim strain, which I've designated Cassius F. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll seek the director's approval for live testing. Live trials. Which poor bastards are we gonna endanger this time? Yeah, I know, Ren. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that. <clears throat> Yeah, I think there's worse things. I was reading not too long ago about these super bugs that, like, are, like, resistant. I think there was, like, a cocktail they found that was working, but... Bursa? Oh, really? There's a lot now. Not good, not good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks, Ren, for making me feel better about it. <laughs> Have mercy living in my body. <clears throat> Wait, this isn't my Cassius D work. This is... F. New. Ooh, look at that. So this must be the Cassius F strain. You guys ever look at bacteria under a microscope? It is really gross. <sighs> I have a, um, it's actually a Supa's friend, but she's my friend now too. But she's a microbiologist and she just loves looking at bacteria. How long have you been hiding this from me, Chavez? I agreed. Incredible. Chavez has resurrected- They give out antibiotics day. for everything. Oh. The Z pack. And the next step has to be live trials. I need to get to yeah, live samples. So this is where <laughs> things begin. Maybe live samples or botany will show me the next steps. All right. So we looked at this. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Empty. Well. Leaving samples in there would not be good. Is that 99 pulse? Or what? Mm. Is that oxygen? I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's. How do we? How do we get out of this room? Music. The attention to the lab. Yeah. There's got to be more about this project pin feather somewhere in these labs. <laughs> Look down the other way. I love the way this place looks. Okay, that was her office. And I mean, like, look, they got, you know, like all the little details. Got the hand sanitizer. Does that say alcohol only? I can't tell. Okay. We'll just go down this aisle if it'll let me. Oh, I do get in there. Oh, it says gel. Okay. <clears throat> live samples. I seriously hope they didn't already start live trials with a new Cassia strain. Ooh. Oh no, we got the birds. So, okay, I'm assuming, okay, uh, nothing in here. I mean, like, 
you know, not that I've ever hung out in a lab, but this does look like a legit lab. Like, they have all the things you would need. <clears throat> Alright, so we have more email. Doctor... I'm not gonna say his name. <laughs> um, movie night tonight... The two birds are crated and ready for deployment. Seems like a bad idea. Must be for the door to the inner lab. I need to get in there. <clears throat> what do we got? Okay. I gotta shut the door. I don't want to leave it open. All right. Hmm, nothing. Nothing. Empty. Okay. Janitor. Did I look in here? Or wait. Did I look in these? I don't think so. I always wondered, is designing lab coats a real job? <laughs> Someone's oh. not. Let's read them. Chavez thinks my calculations are incorrect. But Chavez doesn't make the decisions, not down here. Let's see how incorrect I am when I quantum teleport a photon up her ass. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so let's go in here. Do I have a code? Uh oh, do I have a code for this? I don't think I have a code for this room. Oh, I do? 2810. How do you know? Did you see that somewhere? What was it again? Oh, yeah. Those that remain in the nest. I don't know. <laughs> what? Open sesame. What's this? A blueprint. I remember this inhaler design. Airborne viral distribution. Mm. Hell of a vector. I remember this inhaler design. Airborne viral distribution. Oh. Hell of a vector. Good one, Ren. It would have taken me a minute. Cat crazy. What's up with the music? Oh, they better not be testing on dogs, too. Oh, no! Well, hey there, boy. You got nothing to do with this pen feather mess, have you? You are a handsome boy, ain't you? Yes, you are. Mm hmm? He's like a little beagle. <clears throat> this project leads will be real pissed if he gets too fat. Hmm, look at this. Calico Island. Crap, this is definitely a live trial site. I bet it's crawling with bird carriers by now. That's it. I'm done. There's more than enough on this memo to make the CDC take action. I just need to get the data out somehow. Mm -hmm. First, back to my lab, pack, and arrange a transport. Recording stopped. Oh, achievement! Raven Paradox. Yeah, they're all evidence. Well, we're still looking around. Game. He's recording what he's gonna do. Okay. Oh yeah, because he's wearing the little uh Nothing loaded in. Glasses, I forget. Nothing loaded Nothing in. Nothing loaded in. Okay, I think everything's done in here. Alright, we'll leave this room. Just a storage room. Still want to look. Okay. I should head back to my lab, review what I've recorded so far. No, don't head back yet. Who's this? Chen Sheng Wu, first lady of physics. No Wu, no chaos, no standard model. 
Don't tell me you're mixed up in this too. I just want to use the eyewash station. Just for fun. <gasps> Come on, game. Empty. I need to find a sample. <laughs> Is that weird? This Can we use the eyewash station, one. please? I should take a closer look. Let's look what we got. Alright. Let's get this under a microscope. Ooh, it looks kind of gross already. Right, let's take a look at it. Pop it in. Sample in. 3D visualization mode activated. Let's take a mm. look. <laughs> Just a regular plant cell. Mm. No connection to pin <laughs> feather here. I didn't know we were going to have like a school lesson. Is that the mitochondria? <laughs> the vacuo vacuoli. Uh. <clears throat> All right. Ah, the Romeo and Juliet of the assembly. Now Larson's leaving. The nucleus. Okay, so we have a code 5402. For what? What's the code for? Sasha in her office. Okay. 5402, thanks. Oh, um, hey, Greg. It's Dr. Benson. I mean, Sasha. Sasha Benson. I was hoping to catch you before. Oh, too late. You've probably already gone. Uh, Nothing drying right now. Everything and take care and keep in touch with everyone. I mean, that would be great. Okay, mm -hmm. bye. Some kind of plant infected stuff crops related to pen feather. Cured cell. Okay, guys, we have the nucleus there at the top circle. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh, if I get in a little closer and I pause, it kind of loads. Okay, infecting process. Ugh. Okay, so... today. Okay, so I went in there, went in there, went in there. That was... Oh, yeah, the animals. Did I go over here? Uh, I need to enter the code. Let's see if it's 5402. <laughs> 54? Oh, two. Open sesame. Thanks, LG, because I already forgot what the code was. All right. Benson's office. Been a while since I was in Hmm, what do we got? Letters? Oh, I can't take that? Okay. Pretty sure hiding the sign doesn't make it safe to smoke, but... <laughs> nope. Pills. Nothing serious, I hope. Okay. I like that art too. What's uh -oh. that? We have a file. Oops, Sasha's latest plant medicine killed the virus, <laughs> but took the local bee population with it. Oh no, okay. You're just so good, LG, you forgot. No, nope, keep looking. Wonder what she uses those for. A little light reading. Alright. Let's see what we got. Anything in there? No. A book. Okay. I like that lamp. Let's 
What's this? Oh. Oh. So these are the chocolates from Morrison. Chocolates. Phone. Hey, Dr. B uh, Sasha? It's Greg. Greg Larson? I stopped by to say goodbye, but you weren't at your desk. I just wanted to say again how great it's been to work with you here. I'll, uh... I'll miss you. And everyone else. <clears throat> so, best of luck with everything. This is Greg, by the way. Did I say that already? With the runaround? <laughs> Bye. These crazy kids. Can't they just talk to each other? Hmm. All right, so I think that was all in this area. And then I think there was like a room. Yeah, we'll go in storage. Communal storage. But you never know. There could be something important in here. No? Oh, fun! I'm gonna put on the fire suit. Can I put on the fire suit? Okay, now we're gonna try this room. Looks like everyone's busy waiting for Dr. Stone's next trial. Good. Oh. Okay, that's good. Leave them in there. Oh, okay, I was in here earlier. <clears throat> Paging Dr. Pearson. Would Dr. Pearson please call Dr. Chavez immediately on extension 289? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I repeat. Find a phone and call Dr. Chavez. Call Dr. Chavez immediately on extension 289. Okay, calm down. She's not on to you. She can't be. This is just some routine crap. And if I call now, she won't need to come down here. Chavez. Scow, something up with Dr. Stone's trials? Actually, yes. I've just received new information and need to make some changes accordingly. Uh, okay, what's that got to do with me? She's about to start on banquet, but then I need you to run Outbreak for her while I reprep the fourth trial. Outbreak? I haven't run that since Anton's trials. Didn't even know we we're still using it. Catastrophic viral outbreaks are a fact of life in the real world, Caleb. You of all people know that. Wow, Lizzie, that is low. I've already discussed with the director. He agrees you're best suited to sub in for this one. Control room 5C, call me when you get there. And try not to moon over your ex on the way. Already discussed with the director. Yeah. Go to the okay. lift and head what? Still, the last thing I need is a manhunt trying to track me down. Better get up to floor A and play along for now. Play along. I'm assuming... Oh, wait, the elevator was over here. What floor am I on, too? Yeah. You play so much Dead Rising, why can't I? <laughs> What did she say? Four? I need to go to the trial area. I don't know. What level is that on? Did she say? Oh. I was worried about having to put in the number. As soon as this loads, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. I might have drank like three of these this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm really liking this game. <clears throat> Are you ready for the second trial, Madeline? I suppose oh, so. so. We're back to her. More puzzles. In a manner of speaking. You feel like you can play it in all in all in one sitting? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how long it is. Um. I don't know how many gameplay hours there are in it, but okay guys, I'll be right back. Just like a couple minutes, go to the restroom, be right back.
All right, I am back and cheap injustice. Thanks so much for the follow. Just hit 300. Thank you. Just getting back here from going to the restroom. All right. 300 hype. Yeah, that's crazy. 300, that's insane. I'm so happy. Okay, so. Okay, so now we're the girl. Make sure I have my mic on. We're the girl now. What? What are they doing? Okay, first let's look around the room. What do we got? Magazine. I wonder how much of this the assembly's had a hand in. Okay. It's the bathroom. Hey. The soap. I like that soap. It says soap. <laughs> You'd think it would be a pump soap, not a bar of soap. Okay. Um, hey. What the? Ah! Oh, for heaven's sake. Enough theater. As scientists, we know our work is valuable. But the rest of the world sometimes disagrees. And outside the laboratory, truth is not always black and white. Your task is to discover which two dinner guests murdered this scientist. What? Wow. A scientist stabbed in the back by someone unknown. Subtle. We found that candidates who empathize with a victim are more highly motivated to solve the mystery. I love Wait, clues. So this was made just for me? Only this configuration. The solution changes with each trial. Now, many of the guests you are about to encounter have questionable morals. But only the culprits have lied to the others and have a clear motive. You must discover who it was by examining the evidence laid around mm. the room. To begin, remove the two murder weapons from the scientist's back. This does sound fun, Ren! I didn't know! Okay, so I knew it. I knew the game had some sort of like uncovering the clues, but I didn't know. All right, so we're going to pull these out. When you believe you've identified one of the killers, place a dagger in their back. All right. That's not yet. <laughs> Take as long as you want, Madeline, but you must begin investigating. You have to... Yes, I get it. Listen to each guest, go through their stuff, catch them in a lie. Oh! This is so cool! Okay, okay, let's get started. Um, so obviously we can't talk to the scientist. He's dead. Got fruit. Here we go. I suppose these are their statements. Here we go. Let's listen to this. I didn't even know that guy or anyone else here. I have no idea why I was even invited. Maybe he needed a place to lay low after what happened. After what happened? Oh, so we put the knife in the back of the person we think did it? Okay. Doctor? I didn't know him well, but I sympathize. We all make honest mistakes. But when research like his works, it can improve patients' lives significantly. Of course, his reputation also reflects on my colleagues and I. But still. Hmm. Yeah, that one looks like Mario over there. <laughs> All right. Got firefighter. Hey, it's geniuses like him that keep guys like me safe. He's got the brains, I've got the brawn. And together we can save lives. Most of the time, anyway. So does each person, do you guys think this goes with each person? Like this background? Let's look around in here. Well, we'll get the statements. You believe so? Okay. We'll get the statements and then we'll go look through all the stuff. Journalist. Trouble with scientists is they're boring. The only time there's a story is when something gets huge or goes badly wrong. And we all know which direction he went in. Okay. This is a teacher. Of course I was upset. Who wouldn't be? But I know science is vital. As I tell my students, 
What matters is how hard you try, not whether or not you succeed. And he did try very hard. I don't blame him. Plumber. Oh. <laughs> it's me, Mario. <laughs> Yeah, I saw him on TV, but whatever. I say, leave science to the eggheads and leave real work to people like me. I know how the world works just fine already, thanks. Okay, politician. He was like a kid brother to me. A good man who stood by his principles. I sponsored and supported him. But when the truth came out, well, I can't do good work if I'm not in office. And my constituents made themselves very clear. All right, so let's go look through the stuff here. So the first one is for the... Let's hear this one again. I didn't even know that guy or anyone else here. I have no idea why I was even invited. Maybe he needed a place to lay low after what happened. Okay, so he's like, I don't know who he is. Look at his. Oh, I was never any good with computers. Wow. No love lost between these two. Okay. Um. I'll go public if I have to. Yeah. Exactly! He does know him! Liar! Okay... So... Exactly! So they know each other, okay. Sounds like he's willing to protect the teacher. Nothing in the drawers. Why even? All right. Nothing in the drawers. I don't think that's it's just the power thing. Let's put their cords in. Okay, I think that's everything in this room. Next one is the doctor. I didn't know him well, but I sympathize. We all make honest mistakes. But when research like his works, it can improve patients' lives significantly. Of course, his reputation also reflects on my colleagues and I. But still. Four bottles of heart medication in here. Okay. Heart medicine. Our anniversary. XXX. Okay, well, the anniversary is what? Whoa. Hmm. Four bottles of heart medication missing. Okay, there's four bottles there. There's eight in there now. Hmm. Four bottles of heart medication missing. She steals medicine. I know. That's a bad sign. Okay, so the clue for this was our anniversary. Who's the doctor with? Okay, we'll come back to the doctor's email. Firefighter. Hey, it's oh, geniuses yeah. like him that keep guys like me safe. He's got the brains, and I've got the brawn. And together we can save lives, most of the time, anyway. Research banned. Unnatural. Secrets revealed. So the teacher's daughter died, and officially they called it natural causes. But the journalist doesn't sound convinced. The teacher's daughter died. The journalist doesn't seem convinced. So the teacher's daughter died, and officially they called it natural causes. But the journalist doesn't sound convinced. Okay. 
<laughs> I love this. By the way, I really like this organizer here. Wait, what do we got? Anything? First aid. Oh, a note. Rescued from an office trash can fire. Cared for me, you have to help. My daughter is dead, but I'm the one they're threatening to sue. Please, for old times' sake, you... Cared for me, you have to help. My daughter is dead, but I'm the one they're threatening to sue. Please, for old times' sake, you. Okay. And then the journalist. The trouble with scientists is they're boring. The only time there's a story is when something gets huge, all goes badly wrong. And we all know which direction he went in. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay. Photos of the politician, the daggers, and the murder scene. Yeah, I'm wondering that too. I have a weak heart. I can't even jog for a cab. Never mind, kill somebody. Oh, a weak heart. Okay. All right, a weak heart. Somebody's still in heart medicine. Okay, so over here, see who was this? The teacher. Of course I was upset. Who wouldn't be? But I know science is vital. As I tell my students, what matters is how hard you try, not whether or not you succeed. And he did try very hard. I don't blame him. Starting to think I should have stuck to my original plan. Teaching seems pretty attractive right now. Oh, there's... Her daughter, I assume. Is the husband of the doctor. Oh, okay, so I didn't get the, the husband part. Okay, so it's her husband. Her daughter, I assume. Everybody's getting A's. Good job, students. All right. Let's see. Um, okay, so this is from the journalist. Okay. Two birds, one stone. Hmm. It, nothing else. <clears throat> Teacher told journalists to go. I like these notes, Ren. You're very organized. <clears throat> okay, so then we got Silver Cross necklace. So who does this belong to? Oh yeah, who are we looking at next? Oh, the plumber. Yeah, I saw him on TV, but whatever. I say, leave science to the eggheads and leave real work to people like me. I know how the world works just fine already, thanks. Silver cross necklace. So who does this belong mm. to? Okay, so the teacher and plumber are talking. Hey, I found this necklace in your U-Bend. I assume it's yours, okay? Oh, thank God. Mm, okay, so it was her daughter's. Okay, so then we've got the politician. He was like a kid brother to me. 
A good man who stood by his principle. I sponsored and supported him. But when the truth came out, wow. I can't do good work if I'm not in office. And my constituents made themselves very clear. She confided in me that she intends to go public. I reminded her she signed an NDA months ago. But what am I gonna do? Sue a grieving mother. Mm. So the teacher was gonna go public with something. And then kisses. Interesting. So I wonder if that gets into the other PC. Let's listen. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so let's try entering 0923 over here. Uh... Okay, we're in. So, doctor and politician. Uh, that's their anniversary. Wait, but I thought she was with the other guy. Oh, the drama. Oh, I'll get to your prescription as soon as I can. Has me writing another re-up for his phony heart condition. Oh, it's phony. We pay good money for those patient files and we won't hesitate to reveal so if necessary. One bad apple can be so damaging. And that's Big Pharma. Hey, sorry, had to step away for a few. Gonna scroll up and chat to get caught up. Yes, Ren took great notes. You'll be able to go over. We're, we're solving, we're trying to gather clues to figure out who murdered this person. Whew. Okay, so he has a fake heart condition that she was stealing heart meds for him. Doctor, she is with actually with the politician. They have an anniversary date of 923. Okay, so then the politician. Okay. Two killers, and they're the only ones who lied to the others. Okay. Wait. Why does. Wonder what triggered her to say that. Okay, so we have him. What was his deal? Uh. Oh, um. Well, I'll just look at your notes. So we got. The teacher's daughter died, but she was gonna break her NDA. The politician was like, hmm. Journalist doesn't seem convinced that it was of natural causes. Teacher told a journalist to go. What was the one about two for one? Was it was it this one? Two birds, one stone from anonymous. And then... Hmm. Two killers, and they're the only ones who lied to the others. Well, clearly, this guy has lied to the others. Because he's faking a heart condition. I mean, she, in a way, has lied because she knows it's fake. in his locker cared for me you have to help my daughter is dead but I'm the one they're threatening to sue okay please for old times sake you okay so that is from the teacher to somebody but we don't know because he found it in a fire we don't know 
Yeah, the doctor... Yeah, the doctor knows it's fake. So, I mean, for sure, he's lied, she's lied. He knows somebody lied. This person knows something's not right. the plumber's thing? Two killers, and they're the only ones who lied to the others. Okay. I planned to wear it when I talked to the news, but did she wear it? No. So what do you guys think? Do you have any... I, Ren, I feel like you might have some ideas. Um... She confided in me that she intends to go public. I reminded her she signed an NDA months ago. But what am I gonna do? Sue a grieving mother. I feel like the doctor's one of them. Should I go ahead and stab him with one? He's lied. Clearly he's lied. He's faking a heart condition. Check the room of the researcher. Which one's the researcher? Wait. Oh! I didn't realize he had his own room. Okay, let's look at his stuff. Well, the teacher's daughter was in an experimental trial he conducted. These results don't look promising. Okay, so that we kind of figured out. Okay, let's look at this. Scientist dinner. Please come to dinner this evening and I'll set the record straight. Okay. Anything else? I think that's it in that room. Hmm. A lie and a motive. Um, two killers. And they're the only ones who lied to the others. Okay. Okay, so... You know, he was saying the teacher might go public. If anybody was going to freak out, you would think it would be the scientist. You know, um, he was talking about something with... Um, what was the deal with him? Um... So the scientist was saying he would go public. Some know-it-all. Yeah, he lied. He said he didn't know the guy. He's faking a heart thing. And then... Doctor. We pay good money for those patient files and we won't hesitate to reveal that's from the big pharma one bad apple can be so damaging could that be a motive to kill him 
Or could it be, um, you know, the firefighter, once he read this letter? Cared for me, you have to help. My daughter is dead, but I'm the one they're threatening to sue. Please, for old time's sake, you... Okay. Photos of the politician, the daggers, and the murder scene. It's like, what's the significance of the politician and the daggers? Oh, it was going... But, but see, the firemen found it in the trash fire. Hmm. I just wonder if he saw it and was like, I'm going to do something about it. All right, I'm going to... I feel like he for sure is getting one stock. I'm just going to do it. Very good. Okay. That's one. You can always take it out and change your mind. <laughs> All right. So the other one. I mean, of course the teacher has motive. I mean. Oh, you think it's the teacher? I mean, she has a really big motive. She says she doesn't blame him. But someone's like, let me take care of it. Two birds, one stone. And she was talking to... Two killers, and they're the only ones who lied to the others. Okay. Okay, so... Who, okay, the teacher, who is the teacher talking to? She... Teacher wanted to go public with the daughter. She's talking to the journalist about going. So what do you guys think? What's your gut? Who do you think is the one that, that killed the guy? also told the politician about going public but then his reaction was just like what am i gonna do you know sue a school teacher two killers and they're the only ones who lied to the others okay she confided in me that she intends to go public i reminded her she signed an nda months ago but what am i gonna do sue a grieving mother If you have to listen to the recording on the table and find them. Okay, and he doesn't have a recording. So what do you guys think? He was like a kid brother to me. A good man who stood by his principles. I sponsored and supported him. But when the truth came out, well, I can't do good work if I'm not in office. And my constituents made themselves very clear. I feel like the politicians are obvious. Who farted? Who farted? Yeah, I saw him on TV, but whatever. I say, leave science to the eggheads and leave real work to people like me. I know how the world works just fine already, thanks. Uh, do something about your diet. <laughs> Yeah, so let's, okay, so no to the politician. I can't see any motive with, with the plumber. Agreed? Are we going to discount the plumber? We're going to narrow this down. The teacher had motive. Yeah, okay, so we're, you're out plumber and you're out politician. The teacher clearly has motive. Her daughter died. The journalist was talking to the teacher was the journalist saying again? Trouble with scientists is they're boring. The only time there's a story is when something gets huge. All goes bad. Oh! 
And we all know which direction he went in. Okay, so there's no news unless something goes horribly, badly wrong. What if she killed the guy? It would make for a better story. Hey, Gherkin. How are you doing? So that's, I don't know, one option maybe? A firefighter. True, but what lie? Did they both lie? If they both lied, I feel like it's gotta be the doctor. Why can't I see that? Oh, there's no objective. The firefighter, he's just like... Hey, it's geniuses like him that keep guys like me safe. He's got the brains, I've got the brawn. And together we can save lives, most of the time anyway. And see, I feel like he's got the brawn. He could have just killed him because he knows he was doing something bad. And he found that letter that was burning. And it was a letter from the teacher to the politician? I forget. Cared for me, you have to help. Or My daughter is dead, but I'm the one they're threatening to sue. Please, for old time's sake, you... It was... It was old time's sake. Maybe they used to be a thing. I don't know. Old time's sake. It was probably to him? We're trying to solve a mystery if you're just tuning in. But nothing he said was false. It's all true. So... I feel like sh she's the only one that has done anything. For old time's sake, wasn't that the subject for the kill two birds with one stone? Two killers, oh. and they're the only ones who lied to the others. Okay. For old time's sake. And who was she talking to before? The journalist was... The teacher and the property ma magnet. All right, are we gonna do it? I feel like she has the most motive. But what was it she said? Uh, of course I was upset, who wouldn't be? But I know science is vital. As I tell my students, what matters is how hard you try, not whether or not you succeed. And he did try. Agreed. Very okay, hard. so we have consensus. I don't blame him. All right, all right. Here we go. So we've already put the knife in the property guy. Now we're going to put the other knife in the teacher. The teacher's lying, not blaming the researcher. Oh. I see where you're going. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Two suspects. If you're confident, approach the exit to see if you're <gasps> right. Or you can still change your mind. No, don't give me choices. Here we go. What if we like burst? Well done, Madeline. Your deduction was flawless. <gasps> Wait. So what was the point of all this? It was just a game? Nothing is just a game, Madeline. In fact, this is the kind of prejudice and persecution scientists face every Yay. day. You know that better than anyone. Subtlety really isn't your strong point, is it? Rest now. Your next trial will begin soon. Good job, guys! Thank you, that was fun. Especially if it's the daughter. Come on. <laughs> Good job! That's one thing I love about Beam because there isn't that long delay. Like we were able to go through that entire thing. You know, Ren's taking notes and then we go through and analyze it together. Yeah, it's like so fun. It's like we're playing together kind of. And you guys helped me get an achievement. <sighs> that was stressful though. Not really stressful, but it's just I didn't want to have the wrong answer. 
after listening to all that it got confusing. <laughs> yeah, agreed. But I think you line by line listing everything, it really helped. Lies are on the table. Like I've got time for this. Let's I really on. like this game, you guys. You do too? Yeah. So, um, if you're just tuning in, this is uh, The Assembly. And it's out on... It's out on Xbox One today, but I believe it already came out on PS4 and Steam. I believe. I can look it up if you need. I've got it in my email. It's up my alley for sure. Yeah, this is a great game. Okay, so she had told us to go up to some office. Mmm, coffee. I don't really like coffee, but is there a chai tea latte button? Cafe, espresso, chocolate. Oh. It's in here. Not can I go in there? No. Damn it, it's been a whole month since the accident. How hard can it be? Oh, so his accident was only a month ago? Ah, the old pillar trial room. The look on Anton's face when I set this up for him. Hmm. It's $30 on Steam? Ow! It's only $19.99 on Xbox. And that's the regular price. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, on VR, yeah. I forgot that, that they released it on VR. Damn it, am I out of range of the server or something? That little Maybe menu is like an achievement. The it's the, the circle with the, the spin feather data. just like an achievement. Not like Dr. Stone's going anywhere. Hmm. On the Xbox achievement, that is. It's the beeping. What's beeping? I hate beeping. It was on the 35% off sale during Black Friday. Oh. <laughs> Your thing is low on batteries. Oh. Maybe it said that. And I just didn't see it because I'm talking. I hate when things are low on batteries. It did. <laughs> I don't read a lot. All right. Elevator. Oh yeah, that's the... So they turned this place into a trial observation room, huh? Better than leaving it to rot, I guess. The elevator's up this corridor. I'm way too busy to go to the trial party. What's your excuse? Are you kidding? My own trial's just about I Don't want to get stuck in well, conversation unless I have to. They can't just let people walk in. Yeah, but I know sometimes I can't believe I mean. Oh, there's different endings? Oh interesting. That's neat. Ah. That's really interesting. Whoa. Yeah, must be a server connection. Definitely worth getting the data off this heads. Where are we? Go to Tech Maintenance 5B and ask Nakamura for a portable drive. Hey, Nakamura, wasn't that uh, the guy in, um... How long does it take to pick up a phone? Heroes? There's Nakamura. Perfect. Four to five hours. 
Well, the, the pace I play it, it's probably like six. <laughs> oh, hi, Cal. I thought you'd be at the trial party. I wanted you to test the memo headset there. I know, sorry. Work, 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 right? You know how it is. Sure, I do. Oh, so yeah, it was the memo I wanted to ask about, kind of. I need a portable drive to download the headset data. Okay, well, put in the usual request and I'll assign one tomorrow. I need it today. Uh, now, in fact. <laughs> and you know I can't do that. Security would have my ass. Come on, you've got a hundred other things in there. And they're all properly assigned, so nobody can remove them from the facility? Look, Cal, I'm sorry things didn't work out, but you can't expect me. I've gotta go. I've been waiting on this call since before lunch. Submit Show a request. Card. I'll get you a drive first thing. Maybe. Shit. Okay, Cal. And some friend. What's plan B? Get Jen out of her office. How do we do best, that? Best, best friend. No idea. Cool. But there's got to be something okay. around here. Cookies! <laughs> so she's not giving me one of those. Where is in there? I need to get her out somehow so I can grab a drone. How are you doing, Shokarn? <laughs> Control 5C. Let the good doctor's trial can wait till I've got that portable drive. Candidate 0961 Patel. Not bad. 305. 961 has restarted for the third time. She clearly comprehends the nature of this task, but is taking a measured approach. This fits with the behavior exhibited thus far in other trials. Yeah, I remember watching her. She's pretty mm -hmm. good. I didn't sit in on this one. Maybe I should check out what they have in store for Dr. Stone. This co Okay, so the code for trial planning office is 2012. So 2012. Do not share this code with anyone. Okay, we got the code. 2012. Ooh, cool. Ah, outbreak. I like this one. I should get this memo data backed up before I start oh. the trial. I gotta get my thing backed up. Okay. Oh, it's a different computer. Okay. Can't call Chavez yet. Not before I get this data on a portable drive. Okay, we're get we'll get the portable drive. All right, let's see. Trial date or trial one data. Oh, she's doing great. Right on track for an offer. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's you. Oh. Okay, so if you're tuning in late, hey Wonder, hey Wonder Wes. So if you're tuning in late, um, this game is telling the story from two different perspectives, like two totally different people experiencing the same story. And so what Ren just noticed, this is the data on the other character that you've been playing doing all the trials. So, um, so Examined. Oh man, we missed a piece of evidence. Barg. Solution attempts one. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Finally got to Twitter to push your tweet. Yay! I missed one evidence. I know. I have to play it again, probably. I bet. I bet, I bet. How are you doing, Wonder Wes? All right, so we need to go get that drive to put the data on. Does it? S oh, we gotta get her to leave the tech maintenance somehow. Well, maybe we can start a fire or something. Jane Marseille, a determined educator. She brought popular science to children and adults alike. Man, I wonder what I missed. 
I mean, we could get her a cup of coffee and like holler, hey, there's coffee. I'll have to distract her somehow. Salima's lab. She's Dr. Chopra. Focused on her multi-spectrum antiseptic project. Yes, please. There's a lot of samples yeah. in here. Some of Chopra's samples. No, I can't pick any of them up. Oh, Maria, are you cheating on mm? me? Hmm. I'm not sure what Chopra was doing with that. What do we got? Salima, this is Dr. Chavez. I need to know if your antiseptics are at human testing stage yet. My team is suffering daily claw and beak attacks, so they'd be perfect subjects. Call me. Extension 174. And that, Chavez, is what they call irony. Mm -hmm. Don't need that. Paper or some sort of supply. <laughs> Got a book? When I get out of here, maybe I'll finally write my book. Okay. Anything else in here? Clipboard. Her work's really coming along. No wonder she's hiding from Big Pharma in here. No. Oh. Did you actually click on the black thing on the leather table? I did, I did. And he said something like... I don't know. He said something mumbly. I already forgot. Okay, more emails. Even down here, there's always a bigger nerd. Ew, can you clear, clean off the ear prosthetics after you're done with them? Yuck. Oh, uh oh, this is. Down to the sub levels, huh? Well, no, we wouldn't want that, would we? Wish I could remember more chemistry. Oops. Sounds like a great way to get Jen out of her office. Oh. Chemistry. So, it's barely holding together. Every time you overload it, I have to go down to the sub-levels and jury rig something so my servers don't overheat. Okay, so that is how we will get her to leave her office. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Um. Mmm. Combustible substances. Nothing in there. Nope. All right. Nothing down. Oh. Uh. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing. That's a lot of money. I guess if you're rich enough, you figure you can buy extra life. No matter how unethical the treatment. And the director hasn't made a decision yet. Okay. We'll just take that. Oh. I wonder what kind of experiment Chopra was doing. Yeah. Here. At least someone puts their samples away properly. Samples for Chopra's no. work. Nothing there. Oh, I saw something on the table. Maria's arm program is set to start from here. All right. Kablooey. That's the technical term. It went kablooey. All right. Uh, we looked at all of that. We'll go back out. Get all cleaned up. 
Mmm, decontam. Smell those candles. <laughs> Acid. Dangerous mm -hmm. stuff. Somebody outside talking loud. Alright, so we got what's have I looked at? That work's really come along. Oh. I missed that before. From big pharma in here. Yeah, this thing, um LG. Don't need that. Looks like a little microphone with the press button. Did I look at this picture? I don't think so. Oh. What else do we got down here? Oh. Wow, what was that code again? Is it 2012? Gotcha. Open sesame. Yeah, <laughs> I actually remembered, LG. Surprise. Oh boy, this is from that time the walkway collapsed under the Canada. Great work, maintenance. What do we got? Some. Letters. Got a creepy lady mannequin. This looks like stuff Zen likes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Make them find their way with night vision. They said, so many broken bones and missing teeth. <laughs> what do we got? Haven't done a medieval version of the banquet in a while. Pity. Okay. Nothing. What do we got? The great Madeline Stone. The director does love a true. That's who genius. the other character is. Misplaced mannequins up there with evil clowns. Stop it! Uh Neuroscience. Medical license revoked. Potter weaving pharma. Okay. Come on. One of these drawers, really? Okay. You'd think you have to open all those drawers. Yeah, this looks like a good setup for her. Banquet's always fun with candidates who feel wronged. I wonder what her secret's gonna be in Family Matters. Okay. Okay, I think I... Oh, no, I didn't look at this. Oh, or that. <laughs> Abduction plans for Dr. Stone. The old black bag at the front mm -hmm. door. Hey, Commander Viper, how are you doing today? So this is the woman that we're playing. The story is like telling it from two different sides, and that's her. He's discovering. Reminds me of the night they grabbed me. Okay. Whoops. Achievement. Some assembly required. Discover the preparation of Madeline's trials. Interesting. So... They're saying she has a strong anti-authoritarian -authori streak. Okay. All right, and then let's see what this is. Well, there you go. Move low the air con it is. So, air conditioning system in block A5. Oh no! Well, I hope you're feeling better. Oh. An accident simulation. Cell tower triangulation. Don't think I've seen this one before. Hmm. Okay. If I can leave the room. Hallways. Okay, I went in 
there. So now I think we need to go down to A5, overload. I've got to get Jen Nakamura out of her office somehow. I think if we overload the air conditioner. I've um, got to get Jen Nakamura out of her office. Okay, somehow. I thought we could do it there. Let's see what's in here. Someone tidied the rec room. Oh, that makes a change. Nobody ever puts the sugar away, though. Boom. Oh, if you like your eyebrows, leave now. <laughs> we'll go in there. <laughs> nice. Once I get to a good stopping point, I'm going to break, take like a really quick lunch, and I'll be right back. Doesn't anybody log off? I anymore? know. This place. Post party in the floor A canteen. What you gonna have? Not healthy. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of really healthy items today. It's leftover pizza day. <clears throat> But I'm going to make, I don't know yet. We'll see. But yeah, for lunch days, leftover pizza day. Okay. And then the last one, Susan. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go in here. I'm hoping I can make things go boom. Maybe get that lady out of her office. So go in and steal. Is it? Is it in here? It's like, what do I need to make something go boom? I feel like I'm gonna look in here one more time, real quick. Let's see, what could we do? Mix some things, cause there's like the scorch mark. I wonder what kind of experiment Chopra was Let's doing see. here. see. Maybe we can figure it out. I don't know. Get like... Is there something I can pick up? Here we go. I didn't read this. Seems like there should be something down here. Can I grab any of that? No. Gosh, they know me. I feel like I should be able to turn these fans off. think we need to go. Oh, I hit the button. So we're out. Sulfuric acid. Dangerous stuff. Nothing over here I can do. Okay. Okay, so that 
that's the bracket room. And then down there, there's nothing. This was, we went in that office already. All right, let's look over here. Jane Marseille, a determined educator. She oh, that's the observation. To children and adults alike. Okay, we already read that. We can't do this yet. I should get this memo data backed up before I start the okay. trial. Okay, where are we gonna get the thing at? How are we gonna distract her? There's gotta be something we can blow up. Maybe down here? Caution. Do not use this elevator. somewhere new can we just pull the alarm I mean that would be really easy to get her to leave her desk oh yeah leave him to it I need to find Jen Oh, okay, so we were down here earlier. I'm not exactly sure where I want to be to cause this distraction. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can do with these machines. somehow in 5B. Okay, that's that. Okay. Don't want to get stuck in conversation unless I have Go to. back up, because apparently doesn't seem to be anything. No worries, Deimos. Yeah, fart all you want. <laughs> okay, let's... Wrong way. Wrong way. Alright, so... This is where we want to get. Nakamura's in there. I need to get her out somehow so I can grab a drink. Okay, so we need her to leave. We need to do something that will... This room, that I already looked at. And then this one, what did it say? Hmm. A file on Dr. Stone. <laughs> oh, Deimos. Oh, gosh. You know, the other day you weren't here, and there was not hardly any farting going on. It was really weird. I remember this guy. He bailed on trial four. Mm, nerve interface expert. Probably planned to put him down in Aug Med with Annabelle. Alright. Yeah, she'd cut off her own arm so long as they replaced it with a sweet cyber prosthetic. Okay, that's the elevator. This is, okay, that, I feel like it's, it's gotta be that room. I'm gonna look, see what's in here. Okay, that's the uh, rec room. Oh, I don't think I've been in here. <laughs> Your fragrant influence. Oh my gosh. 
Wait, what do we got? Potassium mm. chlorate. Reminds me of an old experiment. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in there. Nope. Nothing useful. All right. Exothermic reaction. KC103 plus sugar plus da 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 potassium chloride plus heat. Okay, are we gonna make it go? Let's check this. Let's see what's on Oops. here. I'm too close. Can we back up? Okay. Hey Anton, you and Cal have a Maria unit, right? Get on some classic pyro. Okay, so Chopra has some H2SO4. Get some sugar from the rec room, which I know where the sugar is, and flame on. Okay, so I need to borrow the KCIO3. Damn straight, Anton, you tell her. Hmm, so if I run Tanner's experiment in Chopra's lab, that should distract Jen yep. for a while. I just need to find a few ingredients first. Find potassium chlorate, sulfuric acid, which I know where that is. All right. All right, so what's in here? Nothing. Okay, so we need to get... Where is it? Right over here. Take that. I'll take the potassium chlorate, thanks. Thank you. Take that. Then... I still need to get sugar. We're gonna go right over here. And sulfuric acid. Look at that. My brain remembered. Sweet, sweet sugar. Alright. Got that. I still need to get sulfuric acid. And I know right where it's at. It's in this room. Okay. Sulfuric acid. Well, it'll do nicely. All right. All right. Time to turn up the heat. All right. Is there one of those warmers in here? Uh. Oh, there's one in there. Nice, Mona. <laughs> Thanks, LG. I know it's so rare when my brain does stuff. I'm assuming we throw it in here. Oh no, no, no. We use it on the little Bunsen burner thing. Probably on this. Mmm. Okay, that's the sugar. That's the sugar. And that's the potassium Why isn't chlorine. there a... Uh... So that's the sugar and the potassium chlorine, and the acid goes on that. Okay. So that's the sugar and the potassium chlorine, and the acid goes on the mat. Now what? I thought I picked up the acid. Did I not pick it up? No, just put the acid on the mat for Maria's robot arm, and we're ready to rock. Oh. Um, for the robot arm... Oh! <laughs> All right, Maria. Let's make some fun. Let's do science! It's science time! Wait, how do we do the science? <laughs> how do we make this thing go? Where's the uh, power button, maybe? Um. Happy Friday, Zen! We're about to do science! Time to let Maria We're do We're gonna do science as soon as I figure out where the power button is. Uh, it's gonna be epic, don't leave. Where's the freaking power button? Okay. It's not on the arm. The arm, the cable. Oh, fail. Bill, not the science guy. I got it all set up and ready to go, and now I can't turn the thing on. Okay, switch Maria How on. How do I switch Maria on? Where's the switch? 
Is it like on the cabinet? No. Is there any buttons I can hit? Buttons! I need a button! It should be right over here, you would think. It's not these. Oh no! Moto, would you tell Zen she's gonna save it? What? How do we turn on the the robot arm? I was like, I was so excited. I put all the stuff on, and I'm ready to blow it up. Now I don't know how to turn the robot on. And now I'm whining. Is the button... Oh, that's a smart... Let's try. Let's, let's try, because that would be the smarter thing to do. I'm just I'm like, I don't see a button. Oh, look at LG. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's it? Yep, that's burning all right. That's it. I wanted like a big boom. Wait, we better... There goes the air con. Okay, now we gotta go... Slow down, cow. Wait till it comes to oh. Attention. System malfunction. The air conditioning system has suffered oh. overload and ceased operation. Uh -oh. Would Jen Nakamura please report to general maintenance to assist with repairs? I didn't do that. Thank you. Slow down, cow. For God's sake, again? And there goes Nakamura. <laughs> to drive Run hide. Back up the hill. There she is. She's she's not worried about. Me. Sorry, Jim. Don't get I caught. Really need that portable hard drive. I wasn't worried about getting caught. Maybe I should have been. Clearly. Okay, let's steal the thing. Now, where does Jen keep the portable drives? Gotta hit every button. Don't need that. Phone. Hey Jen, Hi, it's Anton. Anton. Look, it's none of my business, but I wish you and Cal would patch things up. He's been real down for a while now, and he won't say it, but I know it's because he broke up. Maybe if you could... All right, headset connected. Now to find a drive. Sorry, guy. I didn't really listen to you. I'm really wanting to get out of here. Amazing, Peter. How are you doing? Amazing? Moto be grooving. Moto, Moto be running around real fast because Moto wants to eat lunch. <laughs> Good, good. Uh, okay. First, I need a drive to attach to this to transfer mm, the data. Hmm, a drive. Where are the drives? Oh, maybe in that room. Let me look on the computer for a clue. If I can find a portable <laughs> drive, I can initiate data transfer. Yeah, you. this is, uh, it's called, um, The Assembly. And it came out today on Xbox One, but it's also out on Steam and I think PlayStation 4. And it's a story where you have two people um, and you're, you're bouncing back and forth and you're learning the story from each person's perspective. So they're, they're like, he, like, this guy is like a scientist and this other lady's a doctor that they're looking to bring on. And so you're just learning about the story from each perspective. And there's some like puzzles and things. If I can find a portable drive, I can initiate data transfer from here. And things like that, so it's interesting. Aircon meltdown must have triggered some kind of lockdown protocol. Hmm, so how am I gonna get in here? Grace Hopper, inventor of the first programming compiler and rear admiral in the US hmm. Navy. Yeah, it's it's a puzzle. There's some it's 
parts of it are like a walking sim. You walk around, you look for clues, and you learn the story. And then part of it, there's like literally puzzles. And then there's like, we did one where it was like a, a, like a whodunit type thing. He had to use like logic. If I can find a portable drive, I can initiate data transfer from here. Well, what? Where are the portable drives? And is there another way into this building? Hmm. Let's see. There gotcha. we go. I thought it would be smaller. Sorry, Jen. I can't let you properly assign this one. It's got a date with the CDC. Perfect game for streaming. Agreed, yeah. That's what I was telling Zen. Or no, she was telling me I have another game to do. It's called Nevermind. And she was saying it was kind of slower paced. And I was like, oh, okay. Next, connect the drive to the dock. Uh, okay. And now, start the data transfer. Let's see. Copying data. Okay, this could take a while. When are you streaming next, uh, Amazing Peter? Is it soon? Come on, come on. Who, me? Hmm, just making a backup. No, oh, of course I'm not taking it outside. That'd be against every rule we have. Yeah, we're giving it to the CDC. Red alert! Okay, <laughs> on the trial, requisition, transport. Okay. Nakamura, Nakamura's computer here with Dr. Well, however you say that. Um, maintenance, plan maintenance. Please, blah, blah. Okay. I'm sick with the flu. No! Your voice is not working. Aw, oh, man. Poor you. That's sad. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Take my thing back. That is a bummer, man. Okay, so we got that. I think we can leave this area now. Damn it, I forgot Oops, the drive. Oops, that would have sucked. Let's grab the drive. Glad he reminded me. Okay, back to the control room and then call Chavez. All right. So we're going to go back to this control room. We'll see. <gasps> Achievement! Please eject USB device before whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think... Hmm... I should call Chavez. Oh, I gotta call Chavez. I think there's a phone in this room. Yep. I feel like I work here now. Dr. Chavez. It's Cal. Sorry, I'm a little late. Maintenance are blocking off corridors everywhere. Had to go all the way through experimental physics. Why didn't you cut through the old pillar trial room? It only adds a couple Oops. of minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, live and learn. Mm. Anyway, I'm here now. Yes, I can see you. The outbreak session is all prepared. The parameters are identical to when you ran it for Dr. Ruiz. You shouldn't have any trouble. She's waiting for you to summon her through. Please call me when it's done. Will do. See you She's later. She's a little grouchy, eh? Call Dr. Stone into her... Oh, okay. So Dr. Stone is the girl, the other girl you're playing in this game. I should get this I trial started. I have a flu, but I'm quite ill. Yeah... We got to support each other, for sure. I was not feeling good yesterday. It, I had a insane headache and I was like, run down. My left eye was swelling shut and I couldn't breathe. It was like weird things. I don't think they were all together though. I think it was like separate, like I had allergies and then I had a headache and I don't know. So, you know. Dr. Stone, my apologies for the delay. Your next trial awaits. Okay, so... Now we're gonna probably go back as the woman, Dr. Stone. And if that's the case, I might take a quick break and eat some lunch. And then I'll be back. Love and support. Yeah.
we got like a nice one we got a couple things there's some really great people in the xbox community and then who knew beam was so awesome everybody's so nice i have only encountered one semi not nice person on beam and they left and never came back so that was good like everybody's so nice and supportive wanting to help each other i love it okay so this is madeline madeline Looks like it's Madeline. Guess depends. But yeah. Okay. Is this loading or what? Did it freeze? It kind of looks like it got stuck, eh? No? Why am I Canadian today? Um... As long as it's saved where I left off. <laughs> All right. So what I'll do is I'll reboot this um, when I come back. Hopefully I don't have to go backwards. Um, but I'm going to go eat some lunch. Um, I'm thinking 15 or 20 minutes tops. So it shouldn't take long. I'm just having pizza. So I'll be right back in a little bit, guys. And... Um, I don't know. Let me see if anybody else is streaming. I, I know Ren was about to. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, I want that muted. Oh, yeah, Justin. Well, maybe we'll go say hi to Justin because we said hi to Ren the last couple times. Let me um, pull up Justin. Give you some uh, entertainment. And if you don't come back, at least you're at Justin's channel. Um... But I'll put his link here. And you guys can just go say hi to Justin. I'll, I'll uh, host him while I'm gone. Let's see. I think I put that in chat. Yeah. So go say hi to Justin. Tell him Moto said hi. All right, guys. And I'll see you in about 15 or 20 minutes. Unless you get hooked on Justin, then you can stay over there. All right? See ya. Let me... Uh...